What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson and today we have some pretty mind-blowing news that could possibly make a lot of fans insanely happy. There is a lot of pressure right now riding on a few specific movies that are coming in the MCU. Movies that are supposed to revitalize Marvel and give fans hope again, essentially saving the MCU as it is right now. Not that it's terrible by any means whatsoever, but Marvel hasn't really pumped out the same quality of content that that they used to and this is widely due to having to create many new Disney Plus shows whereas Marvel before used to be hit after hit after hit now we only get a hit every now and then so Marvel is relying on movies like Deadpool 3, Avengers 5 and Avengers Secret Wars to just completely knock it out of the park and as far as these movies are concerned we have a really exciting update that gives fans even more hope. If it all comes together, it should be pretty dang close to perfect. Marvel Studios has basically already taken their precautions to make sure that Deadpool 3 is going to be absolutely amazing. Plus, Ryan Reynolds, of course, wouldn't have it any other way. And now it seems like they've taken a really great step towards ensuring that Avengers Secret Wars is also going to be the same. It's just a rumor and speculation for right now, but it looks like Phil Lord and Christopher Miller might be in the running to be directors for Avengers Secret Wars and Avengers 5, which still at this point, based off of what we know, has no name, just Avengers 5. Now, if you are not familiar with who these people are, Phil Lord wrote Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Phil Lord and Christopher Miller both wrote Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, both of which are really great multiverse Spider-Man films. If you haven't seen those two films, I highly suggest checking them out. Now, if this ends up being true, this is an insanely huge win for us, the fans, for the MCU in general, but specifically for the movie. And let me explain why this should happen, why Marvel Studios should absolutely hire Phil Lord and Christopher Miller to be the directors and possibly also additional screenwriters for Avengers 5 and Avengers Secret Wars. And of course, if you're new, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel MCU news. Also doing a giveaway, more talk about that at the end. So Marvel Studios possibly hiring Phil Lord and possibly Christopher Miller with Phil Lord to direct and possibly screenwrite for Avengers Secret Wars is very Marvel of them. What I mean by that is Marvel Studios has recently hired directors or writers who have worked on other kind of multiverse projects before. The perfect example is Michael Waldron and Jeff Loveness. They both worked on the show Rick and Morty and that has a lot of multiverse elements to it. A lot. So for the multiverse saga, Kevin Feige hired them to write some projects for them that are heavily revolved around the multiverse. For example, Michael Waldron wrote Loki season one. He also wrote Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and Jeff Loveness wrote Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, all of which really involved the multiverse and variants. And Kevin Feige has hired Michael Waldron to not only write Avengers 5, but also Secret Wars as well. So that's one reason why this rumor makes sense. Phil Lord wrote two Marvel films that were based on the multiverse, and Christopher Miller joined Phil Lord for Across the Spider-Verse. And recently, Across the Spider-Verse has won a bunch of awards, and both were incredibly successful at the box office. And that really just comes to the second reason, which is they know how to write a good story that has a lot of different characters in it. There were a ton of variants in Spider-Man iterations and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse when we went to the hub. We saw hundreds or thousands of them, all done extremely well and put into a great overall story, which I believe is kind of the problem that Marvel Studios has had recently. Storytelling. I think Marvel needs to fix that one problem. They need to make better stories. And it sounds like, based off of what Bob Iger said recently, that is now their main focus. Because it's one thing to write or direct a film that's based off of one main character and possibly one main villain and a couple of side characters to support the hero and the villain. But writing a movie that has a lot of different characters as the main characters is a completely different story. It's a completely different job. And some people aren't 
up to that. However, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller have already proved themselves. Like I said, all around, the two Spider-Verse films are considered massive successes and are really loved by the fans. If you don't count that people were kind of upset about the cliffhanger and across the Spider-Verse, but overall, that movie is amazing. Now, this rumor started because reliable insider My Time to Shine Hello tweeted a picture of Kevin Feige and Phil Lord at the Critics' Choice Awards, and she captioned the tweet with, this one is going to be more relevant than you think. So of course, everybody naturally thought, oh my gosh, Kevin Feige is going to get Phil Lord and possibly Christopher Miller with him to direct the next two Avengers films. The reason people think it's the next two Avengers films, Avengers 5 and Secret Wars, not just Secret Wars, is because Kevin Feige has already hired Michael Waldron to write both films. Since essentially Avengers 5 is going to be a part one to Avengers Secret Wars, it does make sense to have the same writer for both of them. And in turn, of course, it makes complete and total sense to have the same director. This is exactly what they did with Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame with the Russo brothers. They did both. Why? To keep the continuity. So the second film can have the same feel as the first. That way it doesn't feel like two completely different movies, but indeed does feel like a part one and a part two. Having the part two pick up and feel like we're picking up right after the ending of part one is critical. If Avengers Infinity War didn't end the way it did, then Avengers Endgame pick up the way it did, then it just wouldn't have felt the same. So this is another reason why this would be an incredibly smart decision by Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige. If they hire Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, they could direct both, just like they did for the Spider-Verse film so far. And here's another reason that they should be hired that many people might not have considered. They are kind of perfectionists. Phil Lord and Christopher Miller for Across the Spider-Verse would change things all the time if they thought it was going to be better. Now, this is both good and bad. It was a nightmare for the production team for Across the Spider-Verse. Across the Spider-Verse and the next film, Beyond the Spider-Verse, were supposed to essentially be done at the same time. They were supposed to do everything at the same time, working on Across the Spider-Verse and Beyond at the same time. However, due to all of the changes, they weren't really able to do that. And now, Beyond the Spider-Verse has been delayed. It was supposed to come out a year later, and now it's not. Now, this unfortunately is a double-edged sword because Marvel Studios hasn't exactly been the best at this recently either. They'll go into projects and change things on a whim, and those projects end up not being too good. However, there's a way that this will easily work, and that is they have to finalize everything before they begin production on it. And I'm talking about filming here. We got a lot of okay Marvel Studios projects recently, but one project that was absolutely amazing was Loki season two. And I've done a whole video about this before, so I won't go too deep into it. But basically what happened was Loki, the entire season two was written and finalized before filming began. There was only a couple of changes they had to make, but basically the whole entire script for each episode was not rewritten. Again, with the exception of one episode. But this allowed everything to go so super smoothly. It also gave the VFX team time. They weren't rushed to fix things or add new things or take away some things. This is why the VFX and Loki look so good. So yes, it is a little concerning that Phil Lord and Christopher Miller were changing things almost daily for Across the Spider-Verse, but there's a good way to look at this. One is that they are clearly requesting things that they think will make the movie amazing, will make the movie better. And if you saw Across the Spider-Verse and Into the Spider-Verse, you know those movies are fantastic. And to be honest, it's hard for me to get super into to animated projects, but I do really love those movies. The VFX are amazing, but the story is incredible. So if they are making some changes, hopefully it's for the good of the films. And I think we all agree that we want the best possible films that we could get. They also make sure everything looks exactly the way they want it to look. And if they're going to direct these films, then that's a really good thing. So again, if they can just lock in almost everything before they begin, obviously there's always changes as they go on the fly. Some things come up and there's improv, etc. But if they can do the best they can to solidify and finalize everything before they go into filming, I think this would be an incredible choice. They're well experienced with the multiverse. In fact, their track record is great with the two Spider-Verse films. I think these two could be the men for the job. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think this is a good idea? Would you like this? Would you not? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more news. Also, if you leave a comment and you subscribe, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, and some DC items as well. The winner picks one item, and we pick one winner at the end of each month. Don't forget to find us on Instagram and Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.